Yeah, yeah. One of the uh, strong things that I certainly believe in is working smarter rather than working harder. I've got a bunch of, uh, most of these are GFX files uh, from uh, some uh, sporting events uh, with uh, horses. Uh, all of them are females. Um, after uh, doing um, some edits of uh, brightness, sharpness, clarity, color balance, so white balance, and uh, messing with the exposure and getting everything just where I want, lifting or lowering uh, highlights and shadows, uh, going into Capture One Pro 12 on these uh, GFX style GFX files is going into uh, styles and presets and uh, finalizing uh, the image possibly and also creating your own style. I've uh, found a few choices here that uh, I like. Of course, I don't know what your choice would be. Not seven, but uh, here I am in user styles, black and white, uh, number seven or number nine for high contrast on her uh, dark blue jacket here. Um, the amount of detail we actually have in this file is tremendous. I could, uh, I can even count every little hair underneath her hairnet. This was uh, with the 250 uh, millimeter. Uh, GF lens on the uh, GFX uh, 50S. Also, too, I actually uh, like under skin effects, I can't remember if it's Fade 1 or uh, Fade 2 here. And I've selected that, and of course I could deselect it. But uh, I can quickly scroll through all of these effects and save myself a lot of time. Here we have a basically monochromatic image with the um, only uh, uh, color in uh, the flesh tones. I'm going to deselect that. But uh, you can create your own styles. Other people swap styles, kind of like uh, swapping baseball cards almost when it comes to uh, Capture One Pro. And uh, I uh, downloaded and purchased actually a large pack of uh, user styles. I think it's uh, well worth it after doing all uh, editing with uh, color exposure and saturation and whatnot, uh, finalizing, not necessarily always, my, my editing might be the best, but uh, I found some uh, interesting effects that could save me, uh, me and yourself a lot of time by uh, going into uh, user styles. If you don't actually purchase or uh, download um, any styles, you actually do have over here on the left, you can see built-in styles and uh, you get a certain number of them and also legacy styles there's some uh, various uh, black and white styles and you could just run through them very quickly some of them are very odd and unpleasing but uh, it's highly likely that you'll find something that works not always but uh, it certainly saves a lot of time I actually like uh, skin effects fade 2 under uh, classic styles. Also have uh, these. Also have uh, landscape styles. But the point being is that there are a lot of styles to work with here. I've uh, processed about 30% of these images after uh, editing with uh, some unique, uh, not these ones, ones that I've already uh, processed. Uh, for TIFF files for taking to Photoshop, a couple of them anyway. A couple of them to Photoshop, nothing exciting here. These are all uh, GFX files. Yeah, up here is a, uh, a uh, Rosie at Spoonbill from the last time I was in Sanibel Island. It's a heavy crop. This is with a Nikon D850 and 300mm face Fresnel. This is a goofy looking bird. They're actually very beautiful but also at the same time very goofy looking bird in a good sort of way. I think they're uh, very amusing and beautiful at the same time. This is also at uh, Shaker Village of Pleasant Hill. Likewise, all of these are GFX files. Just doing a pinch to zoom in on the old rusty barn there. This is also one of the uh, structures. They don't make stuff like this anymore. But, uh, post edit this one actually turned out quite nice. 
some highlight recovery. I actually used a, a speed light to illuminate this uh, tree trunk to give uh, some saturation to the uh, shadowed part of the leaves underneath the sun and also the tree trunk here so that actually dynamic range compression between everything over here in the bright sunlight and everything here in the shade and uh, did a crop mm, did a crop on this image uh, from about the base of the trunk to uh, midpoint of the limbs. Anyway, I digress. So I just thought I would point that out that uh, you could download user styles. You could purchase a pack of them from Capture One, which I did, but uh, you can also create your own user styles. And uh, this is not an edited shot. I need to bring up the shadows on the dark horse here. It's so uh, funny that she's got a, uh, oops, hand tool. There we go. Oops. I forgot I didn't have my hand tool selected. It's funny that she's got a uh, a knitted skull cap on this horse. Kind of like a knitted knitted beanie. <laughs> have a lovely weekend and thanks for watching. Bye.